Hey again, Joe here from JTF Firearms. In today's video, I'm going to show you the uh, takedown and reassembly of the Ruger LC9 semi automatic pistol. Um, the LC9 has a uh, twin brother called the LC380. Uh, one's chambered 9mm, and the 380 obviously is chambered in 380. Um, they're both basically the same. I'm going to show you how to take down the LC9. Uh, if you have the LC380, it's the, uh, the same process. I'm not going to go through all the cleaning because we've taken care of that in the Glock 19 video. So this one's just going to be basically the field strip and the reassembly of the Ruger LC9 series semi-automatic pistol. Hope you enjoyed this video. All right, today we have the LC9 and the LC380. As you can see, they're exactly the uh, same identical gun. They're just chambered uh, in different calibers. Um, either one's a great carry gun. These are both uh, dual action uh, only, so you have to pull the trigger all the way back. It makes it a very safe gun. Um, a lot of my female clients like to uh, use this firearm. It makes them feel uh, safer when it's in a purse carry. Uh, it's a little bit heavy, but um, again, great firearm, nice and accurate. Um, slights are, uh, sights are uh, adjustable in the rear and in the front, so um, all around good weapon to have. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put the 380 to this side and work with the 9. <clears throat> I'm going to follow our safety procedure and remove the magazine. Slide to the rear, lock it back. Make sure you can see daylight through the chamber, or excuse me, through the magazine well. Um, if you can see daylight through the chamber, you're doing well. Uh, take your finger, put it in the chamber, make sure there's uh, nothing down in there. All right, so we are ready to roll. What we're going to do is there's a little lock right here that you can push down with your finger. And you'll notice that <clears throat> there's a fine pin in here, right there. It's a little off-centered, so what we have to do is make it centered and poke it through from the other side. Sometimes a little easier said than done. I usually just take something small. This came with uh, one of my Ruger pistols. And if you push it through, that pin will pop right out. Don't want to lose that little fella. Okay. Once that's done, the slide, as you can see, slides right off. Um, you want to be careful with the recoil spring because it's under pressure. It'll pop right out. Uh, there's two springs in here. Make sure you have two springs when you're done. Push the bolt to the front slide it out and that's it that is your takedown process and um, at some point uh, we will go through the entire breakdown and reassembly of this uh, this firearm all right so to put it back together from field stripping put the barrel back in like we have in previous videos you're gonna take <clears throat> put the recoil back together slide it in place and here's your lower there's really nothing different about cleaning this lower than any of the others um, I still use just a drop of oil on on each rail I'm gonna go ahead and put this guy on kind of similar to my Glock takedown uh, the way I hold it I put my thumb behind the beaver tail and I just slide it back a hair you got to put that pin back in it only goes in one way, so if you failed one way, just flip it over and try it the other. Oh, and this can get a little, a little tricky. There we go. Once it's in, slide your little lock up, and that's it. That is the takedown and reassembly of your Ruger LC9 or LC380. If you like the video, hit uh, the like button, um, subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell for when the new videos come out. We're going to be doing a series on training here real soon. I wouldn't want you to miss it. All right, and that's pretty simple. Um, as we said, the field stripping and the uh, reassembly isn't that difficult. Pretty much the same on every firearm you come in contact with when it comes to the semi-automatic world. The takedowns are usually a little bit different. 
Um, so if you like this video, do us a favor, hit like, subscribe to the channel, and go ahead and hit that bell up on the top there. Um, that way when we make new videos, you'll be alerted. We're going to have an entire series on training, you know, how to fit you to the perfect firearm for your first time out, uh, different training videos, uh, et cetera. So there'll be plenty of them uh, coming forward, and I don't want you to miss any of them. So go ahead and train hard, stay safe. We'll see you next time.